Finally, some good news comes to us. Once again, Dylan and the details breaking it down for you. The Quarry, coming June 10th, 2022. Finally, a spiritual successor to Until Dawn. One of the reasons I wanted to own a PlayStation 4 in the first damn place. And it's coming to all of the consoles except Nintendo Switch, which is so sad for them. Until Dawn is a very atmospheric horror game, which takes place in a cabin deep in the woods with lots of twists and turns for a multitude of different characters, be them dim lit, totally stupid, or the savior. There was a wide range of characters, but they each had their role to play, each of them making a decision along the way. These type of games are the most interesting to me, where you actually have a opportunity to fuck things up. You know what I'm saying? Early on in my first playthrough of Until Dawn, I made a decision that changed the game entirely. I mean, the person watching me play the game, their jaw was on the floor because they'd played it previously and they didn't make this decision, so I knew it was something big. And I rolled with it, and I'll tell you what, the character literally died. Yeah, I threw a rock at a deer in the woods, many of them came out to greet me and said, Motherfucker, make our day. And you know what, the character had every chance to save himself. He was falling off the cliff, he was like cl trying to climb back up. I fucked up the controls, he fell to his death, instantly dead. That character's gone, that part of the game is gone. So you would have to play through again to enjoy it. You know, I think this is a perfect opportunity to see them work the same amount of replayability into the game, if not more. Because sometimes you could save characters, sometimes you couldn't, but at every point in time, there is a chance to save everyone. But it's up to you, the player. I'm hoping for the same visceral experience because quite frankly, there's not enough slashers in the horror genre. When it comes to video games, I know we've got a few coming down the road, Ash vs. Evil Dead, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, but those are multiplayer based. I'm looking at this from a different light, a different perspective, because when we get right down to it, Until Dawn was one of those games that changed things, and to this day, it still looks very juicy. Coming from supermassive games, you know they're going to knock it out of the fucking park. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for more news on the quarry as we move forward. I love horror, and the more we get, the more I'm hungry for it. Until next time, guys. Ta-ta.